Okay, uh, Vincent, this one that you um, raised, coaches, um, I was going to address something. This is a personal question. Um, yes, I want to ask about um, your time in Lil and your time in the Super Eagles. Um, um, things did not go as planned. Uh, we know that when Marcel Biesa came into Lil, um, you were told to leave. And also, when the Super Eagles, uh, I was going to decide to uh, retire. So, if you are placed in the position to meet these two men at this point in time, what would you say to them? And do you, at any point in your life, hold any grudge against any one of them? First of all, I will start with uh, Bielsa. It's, um, my, you people shouldn't have that impression that I, I left when Bielsa came. No. You know, you get as business they be, you know, a new investor comes in place and he comes in with a different plan. Yeah. You no, know, so that's what happened in Lille. Lille was before a team that blended youth and experience. You understand? So when this present board came in, what they did was youth. It was a project for the youth, you know, buy and sell. Buy and and sell. I mean, my ma market value, I cannot, it, it, look at Osimen. I cannot val be valued in the same market as Osimen. I'm 37 going 8. Osimen is very young. So it's business. The new board yeah. came in and Mar uh, Marcelo Bielsa is a very good coach that can forward with the youth. Not with experienced players. You understand? So it was yes. a, a, an issue of um, it was an issue of um, what do you say? A new project put in place, and the new project put in place, they couldn't pay me. My salary was too much for the club. So and with the budget they came in, it's just like you pay a uh, Vincent Yama playing in Nigeria, and you can't. The pay is different, so the gap is was too much. So they all needed to let all of us leave so that they can start are fresh okay i mean there's always gonna be that period of transition it's the same thing that happened in paris and germany when the new owners came it was a different project they brought they now had to pay off the old players and brought in new players it's like that in so many business businesses worldwide so i don't have a problem with marcelo bielsa not even with the officials not nothing lil if you see i still post pictures of lil i still do things about lil because lil is I still live in Lille. I still relate with the officials, with the people. Lille is in my heart. Lille is part of my life. You know, they gave me what I really want. And um, so I got nothing, no problem with them. If I see them tomorrow, they give me a lift. I go jump inside the bus, you know, mm -hmm. or I give them a lift. Really? Then Olise, you talked about Olise when he came, they asked me to leave. Unfortunate circumstance setting. You understand? I lost my mother and um, it was a period I was mourning. It was a period I couldn't represent the national team. So all things happened and the um, scenario came up and we all acted the way we acted. Everyone had his parts to play and I took the bow. I left. So th that's really the truth. I got no problem with nobody. If I see Olise today, I will say hi to him. I will laugh with him. I will smile with him. I will eat with him. I got no problem with nobody, even the FA, nobody, nobody. I've moved on in life. Life is um, it's so sweet. Why should you should you have a rush? Why? Mali is hatred, envy. No, 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 no. It's not my thing. My think about uh, depression, what it can cost to you. Think about what high blood pressure for thinking of someone else that is sleeping well in his house. <laughs> someone is sleeping well in his house and you're here so angry and bitter about that person no 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 these things happen for us to keep going uh, on in life this thing happened for us to 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 learn to to appreciate the days that pass you know so that's the truth i have no problem with anybody if i am to work with them today everything being in place i will comfortably work with any of those two guys i love them really what do you think is not complete like that of the 2013 team that won AFCON? No, if you want to compare, if you want to compare, you can compare the same team. They have a very, as a team, as individual players that are playing, they, they're very good. Present club, present crop, very, 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 very okay. Very good. What made us 
different then was unity. What made us different then was the team spirit, the joy in the camp. You know, we had so many unknown faces. My generation, had, when we won that team, we had so many unknown faces. We had so many players. I think that that team had a minimum of six or seven home base players. Wow. There was a yeah. GK, there was a Quake, there was Mba. <laughs> that team had a lot of home base players. And so you understand what I'm trying to say. But this team, this team, 90% are foreign base, 99, if not 100. And not just foreign base, actively playing, you know, active mm -hmm. week in, week, every week, week in, week out, week in, week out. So, I mean, I wish them the best. I won't, I won't, like I told you about Musa, I want him to win. Same, I'm thinking of this generation. I want him to win. Nigeria, I, I'm not the selfish person. Nigeria, we have been, you know, at the World Cup level, we've been stopped at, a, you know, uh, what is that, is a second round. Okay. Why yeah. can't this generation can win, can take Nigeria to the next round? It's all about Nigeria. It's not about me. It's not about anyone. It's a, they have got what it takes. They can take Nigeria to the next level, this generation. Sincerely speaking, they can. They've got the, from the goalie, Akbayi, with something else, a wall, to the top striker. Unfortunately, Gallo left them, you know. Uh, it, uh, is scoring like he, he's drinking water. They've, no, for real, they've got everything. I, I just want to see them win. Take quarterfinals, semifinals, World Cup. Why not? Why not? The next World Cup, they will be mature and ready. Yeah. Yeah, the next World Cup, they will be mature. And I pray injury doesn't come. I pray, you know, loss of form doesn't come. But the next World Cup, they will be mature and ready. Yeah. And that, I, do, I thank to God they brought in Yogo that, is, that knows what it is to play football. He just finished his career as a footballer. You know, that relationship, you know. Sincerely speaking, I'm, I, if not jealousy be the word I was, I'd be jealous them. <laughs> but then, you know, I'd be envy. You know, the truth, I really want them to succeed. And the, the captain is one that is at the, the peak of his career. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's it's a glorious generation i think if they go the way they should go they will pass the golden generation okay okay vincent um let's talk about um now going forward um mm -hmm. we know recently i think i read a, a report that um, you would be interested in playing in south africa if the if there is an offer there uh, but for you where would you like to play for before you um, finally the issue about uh, the issue about South Africa, um, it was a question that they asked me, and I just answered the way the guy asked. What if the guy asked the question was, what if there is an opening in South Africa? Would you like to play? Will you take it? I said, why not? If the details are good, I will. That was a question asked and a simple straight-up answer. It was that I want to move to South Africa. It wasn't any of those things. But then where I would like to play, if I have opportunity to play, I would like to play the premiership, even if for, for, for a day. Let me make a given a headline for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so which, which of the clubs? Which of the clubs? <laughs> no. Mm, so really, yeah. I don't have a preference in club. I would... Okay. I would like to, uh, you know, uh, experience the premiership if there's opportunity. I had offers. I, I didn't take them because the details were not good for me. And uh, not really. I just want to end football with laughter, with joy, playing and, and, and bow out. That's really the truth. Not that, okay. that I want to play anything. Let, let's look at you, your kind of person. Anytime the Super Eagles is playing, you see, we see most times you are the one that prays. What kind of person is um, Vincent Inyama? In religious, as in religious wise now? Yeah, um, I was born into a Catholic family. Uh, to God be the glory, I, I gave my life to Christ and um, I turned the other way and um, I left Catholic Church and um, I've been like a pastor in my life because I know we, you know, there's some pastors there where now they them call God. You know, we call yes. God. <laughs> 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 no, God called them. So I'm not an official pastor, but I mean, in my life, 
you know. So, truth, I'm a Christian. I'm a born again. I I believe in Christ. I so why not? If 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 I can win a soul with my actions in my life, no one is perfect. Don't get me wrong. If I can win a soul with my life, with my actions, with my words, I mean, why not? If I have the opportunity to pray, I pray. I I I I stand for Christ openly anyway anywhere in the world i stand for christ wherever i'm going to so everyone know me for that so that's the truth that's the okay. vincent you know vincent, let, let's talk about um, your best teammates we know you played with so many stars i also know that um, you once said that um, hazard found it very difficult to to get the ball past you in training mm -hmm. uh, but who was your best teammate both in at the national level and in club level Ah, that question hard. It's hard to say. I had a lot of, I had love. I had love worldwide, everywhere. From Israel, I had Douglas Da Silva, I had Gilly Vemuth, I had Iran Zavi, who is the best, who is the best um, player in China, who's been the best, highest goal scorer and one of those top players in China. I, I I have a lot. I've had a lot in my life. I uh, came to Lille. I had David Rosenal. I had Joe Cole. We formed a bond. I had Simon Kier. Uh, you know, I, I had Solomon Kalu. I had Idrissa Gay. Uh, in the national team, Yobo was my team, was my best man, best man for my marriage. Wow. Yeah. Yobo, now nah, Yobo be my best man, you know? <laughs> no, for real. You wouldn't believe that. I Kanu, Kanu, JJ, the, uh, I, Onaze, Kenneth. Uh, see, it's hard to say this guy was my best teammate. And I was staying at a point, I was staying with Osaze in the room. I was sharing room with Osaze at a point, you know, being and so forth. At a point, I, my long time, you know, I cheat the audio. We were sharing room together, you know. So, me, I held us in a chejile also. At a point later, and before I became the captain, I was sharing room with elders in a church. So it's hard to say, oh, this was my best, and that, you know, is really very hard. I had love. I had love. I, I sincerely speaking, my football career has been blessed. Um, a question here says, uh, what was your biggest regret as a footballer? Biggest regret as a footballer, I think, um, do I have any? First of all, the record that I didn't now, looking back at it, the record that I didn't break. And um, secondly, with the national team, that 2006 that we did not, we did not qualify for the World Cup because of, I think it was head-to-head -head rule, you know. So, and um, oh, which other one? I think those are the few. I've really been blessed. I've really been winning. <laughs> so I really don't have regrets, you know. <laughs> For someone to have 60, 50 to 60 percent clean sheet rates in his career, uh, that that's a lot. That's that's in the in the top class, the top echelon of uh, world goalkeepers. <laughs> what about achievement? What's your biggest achievement? What would achievement, you say? I, I mean, you can't compare in a, in a nation's cup, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else, nothing else. Every other thing. I, I, I've won leagues in Israel. I've won the Cubs. I mean, winning for Nigeria. Do you know what it is? That's the day, the whole country, we were unified. Now, now that they fight Ibu, Ibu, they fight Yoruba, Yoruba, they fight uh, Ibibio and all that. But that day, we won that cup. Nobody knew any other thing. Even the boys that are, you know, trying to get themselves out of Nigeria, we were we one. You know, so this is me. This is me. Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. So that AFCON is the highest. Okay, Vincent. Um, I want to ask this. You are a goalkeeper, mm -hmm. but you score a lot. You scored a lot of goals. Did you at any point play or in any other position aside goalkeeping? That how do you how do you um, find the composure to score penalties? Like were you a striker or you played in another position yeah, before? Yeah, I can play both. In training, I play as a striker. Sometimes okay. in Lille, in training, I play as a forward player. Sometimes in uh, when I was in Ayimba, I also played as a forward player. Not in matches, but in training. I love mm -hmm. that. I love doing that. So I get. I think that gave me that I'm um, Like I told you, growing up, I was. I go. I go. Stand for go. I go run, come out. You know, I go score a goal, I run back to the goal. 
No, that's what I was doing. And I was really very good at both. I would have been a striker, but I was so scared of tackles growing up. No, okay. so I now I now said, oh no 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 no. It's I was so scared of tackles, you know, because I I was opportune. I, I was I saw a few a few you know bad tackles, and um, I was scared. No, okay. and then back home they would tell you, if you don't pass them, we go kick you, we go wound you. We go, you know those threats really sat on me, and um, I and I was very good in the go in front, so. I said, okay, thank to God be the glory. Let me save you. Nobody go kick me here. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, personally. Of course, it's around the world because these two guys have dominated football for over a decade. It's more of religion, either you're a Christian or a Muslim. I'm only joking. This is football wise now. Messi, Ronaldo. He's better. Uh, no, not who is better because uh, you can't stand. Uh, if that Ronaldo don't play against me, I would have said, whoa, 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 probably Ronaldo is better. But Messi, for me, I played twice against Messi, and he creates a lot of goals, so I will stand with him. But they are very good. These are machines. I don't know if they are human beings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they are human beings, no, but they are machines. They are very good. Very, very good. But I will stick with Messi. I will jump on that bandwagon, that, that, that car. Okay, um, Vincent, this is my own last question. What, what, what is next for Vincent after the lockdown? Like, what should we be expecting from you? Uh, for now, for now, important thing is to stay alive, stay healthy. Whatever is killing people, even as calm. Uh, no, no, the, the most important thing is stay alive. Every other thing will be, be, be Bible says every other thing will follow. No truth. I am trying to manage a few businesses back home, and um, I'm running a center. You know, it's, uh, it's a few things like that that I'm I'm not really in a hurry to make a choice. Final message to your fans: They are there. They are listening. I love my fans. I love Nigeria. I love the world. I love everyone that wishes me well. Truth. Um, they've been that great part of me. You know, when you see comments like this, you go on the internet, you see comments, you go. Uh, anyway, some of them, when they follow me, I go begin vex with them. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I get, when I get plenty of followers with me, they know, they know I'm following me. I go begin block my page. They are following, they are following, they are following now. They are following. These people are following. <laughs> No. Look at them. They are saying they love you. You can see yeah, they love, I love you. them too. Sincerely speaking, I love I love them. Everything is about Nigeria. Everything is about the war. Everything is about how we relate with humanity. That's what matters to me. Money go come, position go come, everything go come. But then what's the impact that you're leaving behind when you're leaving? You know, that's really the truth. And that's what I'm working on. The imprint is in on the sun it's a sign of sign of time. So you need to see, okay, when I'm finally leaving, I'm leaving like a boss, you know. So that's the truth. Vincent, thank you very much for the thank time. You, thank you. Thank you. This was very, very interactive. And we yeah, really enjoyed exactly. It. Exactly. I love it. I love it. I'm following you people now. Now they get you now the newsletter for my email. So when you said that, Great. yeah, you thank guys are doing a very good job. I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. Thank you. I'm so thank proud you. of you. I wish you guys the best. I want you guys to grow. I can't wait for you people to have a million followers. Hey, come on, what are you people doing with 200 followers, 200,000? You need a million. Now, John should come and follow you guys. You're doing a good job. Five, Thank 10 you. million, getting the content. You guys are bringing top news around the world. So, so I'm, so, I'm so proud, so pleased to have gotten this conversation with you. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, yeah, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So you. Good work. I love you. Yeah, bye. bye.